learned from taking the fifth wheel out of here, we do not want to take the little trailer down the other hill. So he's having to back it down the hill on the other side of the property. <laughs> and we've got Carlos and Ernie helping him back down. Trying to keep him from going off the edge because the edge just kind of drops off right here. Nice, that worked out great. It's nice to see our baby moving again. Woohoo! Just trying to get it where he can turn out and we can pull it out of the driveway. The driveway's pretty long. Awesome. Now he can turn out. Woohoo! Well, we made it to Glacier. We are camped across the street from Glacier Rim. Yep, the North Fork of the Flathead River is over there. Not too far away. We got us a nice little camp spot here. We're waiting for some friends to arrive. We used the Leveler Pro to set up both rigs. It works fabulously. Fabulously. Even though this one is part aluminum and that one is all aluminum. You have a, a rig that's aluminum. You need to put it up in the front part so that it's right there at the window and it works great. Our front cap on this rig is fiberglass. We have our Leveler Pro up here in the command center as we call it. And we love how this thing levels up. And we've been checking it with a level also to make sure that, you know, hey, it is doing what it's doing. I love it. You have to download the app. And once you download the Leveler Pro app, it's Bluetooth connected. When you're done with it, there's a little switch on the bottom of the box there that you turn off. And when you turn it on, it makes a little beeping sound. Once you get the software downloaded, the program, it has all of these selections that you can make to set up the Leveler Pro. So we have it on inches and Fahrenheit and um, the driver's side, of course. And then you have which rig you have. And so for this one, we did the fifth wheel. It's 96 inches wide and 180 inches long. This is what I was talking about for the location. In this rig, the fifth wheel, we have it in our command center. And in the little rig, we had it in the front window. And it works perfectly. And you have to say which direction it is facing. So in the fifth wheel, it is facing towards the back of the rig. And in the trailer itself, it's also facing towards the back of the rig. However, sometimes we do put it on the shelf where it's looking out the front of the rig in there. Because we made it so that we can take it from one rig to the other. We have it Velcroed up in the command center. And, of course, you have to select your desired me measurement resolution. Meaning we're within a quarter inch of being level. And this, this one right here, number seven, is how long you think it'll take you to level up. Yeah, this is pretty awesome, and he's about to level up the front. That should be zero here in a few minutes, too. And I love the fact that you can record 
what you're doing, your level spot, and you can record the location. That's awesome. So from left to right, it is level. Let's see top view. See top view, six and a half inches. That means the front is low. But side to side, it's perfect. Uh, Mr. C is putting the jacks down now so we can take the truck off and level it up the way it needs to be. Just five inches to go. Awesome. Well, it bounces back and forth from five inches to four and three quarters. Yep, there we go. Okay. And there it is. Completely level. I love it. Mr. C did it. We are perfect. Perfectly level. I love this thing. What you say, Mr. C? Good job. All right. Woohoo! That's awesome. I will put the link in the description below. It works fabulously. Fabulous. Mm-hmm. <laughs>